Hey, Ahsoka. Nice chest. Whoa, whoa, what the criff, Anakin? I literally just set up the camera. What? I'm just saying it's a nice chest. Thanks, Sky Guy. I got it at the Darth Maul. <sighs> I'm leaving. Oh, uh, leaving already, Master Kenobi? I just got here. Yeah, Master. At least stay for Padme. She's a busy lady. Ugh. All right, fine. I will stay. But only for you, my dear. Thanks. Uh, I'm not comfortable with that silence. What's going on? Nothing. Relax. All right, now that that's done... Wait, I also wanted to say real fast that you have a really nice rack, Snips. Okay, what the actual... Thanks, Sky Guy. You'll never guess where I got it. I see why you were going to leave. Right? Hey, relax, guys. It's like a little behind the scenes. Don't freak out. We're only a few seconds into season three and you're already being meta? Yeah. So? Okay, are we done pranking each other? It's the start of a new season, we should- Hello there, everyone. Welcome to season three. Uh, no, that's my line. You're supposed to say- This season sucks already. I agree. I'm not feeling it. Bye. Wait, don't go. We, uh, we can talk about something. No shit. That's the whole point of- Oh, whatever. What do you have in mind? Well, I'll tell you all the story of how everyone on Tatooine got circumcised. That doesn't sound very family friendly. Everyone, including... Yeah, even him. They did kind of a crap job of it, too. I think they cut off more than they were supposed to. Very funny, dear, but that's not all. They also circumcised the women, so no more clitoris. Uh, I think we should move on. On a more positive note, today I'm officially 30 days sober from death sticks. Congratulations, Master Kenobi. How'd you do it? How do you think? I had an entire month away from Anakin. Then maybe we should do our best to be a little less insane this time around? For Obi-Wan's sake. That seems like a great idea. And I don't know anyone more normal here than myself, so I'll do the honors and go find a guest in the- No! Oh, uh, come on, guys. I'd sooner let you help me babysit again. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. I was a really good sitter, you guys. What? I got the baby to stop screaming, didn't I? You killed it. Exactly. The parents didn't say not to. It's common sense. Anakin, you need therapy. Yeah. Maybe. Just don't book me with Jar Jar again. Why not? Is he so not good enough for you, sir? That's kind of racist. You can't just culturally appreciate his language. Uh, did you mean culturally appropriate? Well, that's what I was going for. I thought racism was Anakin's thing. Ahsoka, don't gatekeep racism. Yeah, if Obi-Wan wants to be a bigot, we should let him. Uh... Ahsoka, you should go get the guest. I have a feeling you're the most qualified. Sure. So, I just need someone insane enough to hold a conversation with the four of us, but also someone that isn't going to cause a scene. No pressure. Huh. I think he'll work. It's not like he has any grudges against us or anything. <laughs> Get up, loser. I have something for you to do. What? Lady Tano. What a surprise. Hmm. <clears throat> I kind of forgot how nice your voice is. So, uh, you're just the right amount of insane, I think. Insane? <laughs> Lady Tano, I am not swayed by the trivialities that most perceive as sanity. My actions are a reflection of a higher purpose, and my unwavering... If you're just gonna be like that, I'll leave you here. Or you can come join Anakin, Obi-Wan, and I in the... Kenobi? Yes. Finally, you will lead me to him, and I will finally have my revenge. After all these years, I'd been dreaming of- Yeah, yeah, I get it. You wanna fuck Kenobi. I mean, he's not for me, but I get it. What? No. I wish to see him suffer, to watch him bleed from his- The sexual tension is killing me. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Excuse me, pardon me out of my way. Yes, I am Hondo Onaka, and I'm here to show you the wonderful perks you can get for supporting our Lord and Savior Zenger on Patreon. You can... wait, what's that? He's not a Lord or a Savior? Huh? Could have fooled me. Anyway, if you join, you can get your name in the credits of the video. And in the insane tier, you could even hear your favorite Star Wars characters say your name aloud. Pretty cool, yeah? Anyway, Kenobi is signaling to me that my time is up. See you later. 
Ah, Ahsoka. Who is it that you've brought to us this time? Kenobi. At last, I shall have my revenge. Ooh, this guy. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Was it Marshall? Wait, no, that doesn't sound right. Marvin. No, that's wrong, too. Hold on. Don't tell me. It's Maul, Anakin. Yeah, he's really excited to see Obi-Wan. Isn't that right, big guy? Don't degrade me, Lady Tano. I'm not some puffer pig for your amusement. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Why do you always grab guests that make me uncomfortable? I feel like every guest makes you uncomfortable, Obi-Wan. Besides, we should have this guy on anyway. He's just your type. My type? The fuck are you talking about? Settle down, Kenobi. I will have my patience. I am fascinated by this alternate universe. I know you are not the man I have come to hate. Oh, cool, I guess. I'm still going to kill you later, regardless. Of course. Ladies, please, settle down. Keep your panties on. Impressive. How did you know? Uh, know about what? That I had panties on. You're wearing panties? Uh, yes. Same. No, you're not. Shut up. Yeah, I am. They say, I heart porgs on the bottom. They're so cute. The ones they made for fat little girls are big enough to hold my gyat. Can I see? Ugh, you don't want to. It'll scar you for life. I'm still trying to forget. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to be able to get either of those images out of my head. My master enforced the practice as I grew up, and I never quite broke the habit. Palpatine made you wear panties? Was he into that? Into kids? Probably. I mean, you've seen him. He's already like the evilest dude ever. Why not? It's okay. I enjoyed it too. It was exhilarating, giving that old wrinkly mess a nice handy every now and then. Hmm. Why does that sound kind of fun? What? Okay. I'm going to need someone to wipe my memory, please. I feel you, Maul. Watto did the same shit to me when I was little, but to his feet. Whoa, okay. Lots of trauma being unearthed here. Well, as I said before, I found solace in my torment. The pain fueled my anger and made me stronger. All right, Hornball. I, I get it. Because he's horny. He has horns. Right, because you, uh... Yes. I've heard that a lot. Mostly from children. Ouch. But, yes, I am horny. Mole, stop being horny. Ugh. I never thought I'd say those words in that order. It's kind of doing things to me. Hey, relax. This is getting not so family friendly. Oh, you're right. I got a little carried away thinking of that day we first met. I was nine. So? Uh, Mole, you've seen better days. You look old. <laughs> oh, Kenobi. You don't know what old is. I've seen things since Order 66. Things you could not imagine. Did you see me? I become this evil Sith dude, and I get to kill kids and stuff. Vader. Yes. I've seen you. But I cannot fight you. Your power is feared throughout the galaxy. Dope. Uh, right. Still not in love with how excited you get when you say that. Didn't you have the Darksaber at one point? The traditions of Mandalore never held my interest. Whether it still resides on Dathomir or elsewhere, it matters little to me. Good. I also hated that thing. It was so black. I also despise that color. Black. Such a favored choice among the Sith. Portraying unnecessary extravagance. It was insistence that we wear black robes deep into the very heart of that religion. Uh, then why get black tattoos? I caught these as a small child. Another method of Sidious's torture. Skill issue. Oh, sorry about him. Anakin is... well, he's Anakin. Hmm. Hearing you apologize, it's almost warming, Kenobi. I never thought I'd hear you say it. What? That I'm sorry? You literally killed my master, then later you murdered Satine. Why would I forgive you? You left me to rot. You cut off my legs. My dignity. Wait, if you got cut in half, does that mean your dick is... Okay, I'm glad you asked. If I asked about his dick, Obi-Wan probably would have gotten mad at me. Yes, I have no dick. Skill issue. 
Shut up, Anakin. I don't actually mind. Really. I never had much use for it. I got genital herpes when I was very young. Another one of Palpatine's methods of torture? That sucks. No. That one was from an Ewok. I'm sorry, what? You know, Maul, we actually almost met once. You nearly ran me over when I was a kid. You were the boy on Tatooine. Ah, I never put that together. Yeah, and I'll never forget because you made me faceplant into sand. That was torture, you know? If Padme wasn't watching, I probably would have just taken the L and died. Ah, <sighs> you did that for me? Simp. Well, I saw Maul once or twice, too. I wasn't a big fan, but I understand you didn't have any personal gripes with me or Naboo. So I forgive you. Forgiveness? That's a strange word. I've not had it expressed to me in all my life. Oh, it's okay, guys. Hitler just needed a hug. Who the fuck is Hitler? Uh, I don't know, actually. Obi-Wan, stop being meta. Hey, Maul, did you ever get a replacement dick? Like, I replaced my arm when it got cut off, and I saw in a magazine once that they make them. No. No? That's it? Didn't you ever, you know, miss it? What's the point, Skywalker? I was Sith. There was never a need for a dick and balls. Especially after Order 66. That's the one about killing all the Jedi, but you weren't a Jedi, I thought. Or do you... They still hunted me. And I killed a few that chased me. My lightsaber is even scavenged from the blade of an Inquisitor. I can't quite remember his name. Wait, if you don't care that I cut off your dick, then why are you mad? Like, it's not that serious. Well, two things. That day, I was wearing my favorite pair of pink panties. Weirdo. And two, I had just gotten my toenails done. You're a lot fruitier than I expected you to be. You're mad because I cut off your toes? Bruh, how does that mean you should kill my girlfriend? Oh, so you do admit that Satine was your girlfriend. She was one of many, but still, that's not cool. She was in my top five favorites. You have a list of your top five? Seems odd. Well, it goes a lot longer than that, and most of them are clone troopers. But never mind that. Stop dodging the question. You will not understand the pain and humiliation you caused me, Kenobi. You never will. Unless I make you. Oof, the sexual tension is crazy. I know, right? That's what I said. There is no sexual tension. I'm not even capable of being horny. Ah, good one. No pun intended. <laughs> oh. Hey, Maul. Do you think you'd be open to marriage counseling? I know a really good- All right, this is getting out of hand. This is not an enemies to lovers trope. All right, fine. Then maybe it's an enemies Padawans Padawan to lovers trope. That doesn't even make any sense. That is a disgusting suggestion, Lady Tano. You are a child. Anyone who would make such a suggestion should reconsider their life choices. Jeez, can't you let a girl down easy? Yeah, you were like a fully grown adult when I was a child. That's really disturbing. You know, there's a whole lot of it on the holonet of you and Ahsoka. Uh, a friend told me. Right. This conversation is going nowhere. I have enough of your insolence. Kenobi, I have been waiting for this day for 30 years. Today, you will... Ah! Huh, I guess now he's half the man he used to be. He already was. So what? This is, like, a quarter? I think he's just dead. Sorry, bro. Can't be letting anyone else take my honors. Anakin, what the fuck? Respect the 1v1, bro. And let you double penetrate each other with your lightsabers? Nah, this is a kid's show. Nobody was going to be double penetrated. More of a single saber kind of guy, huh? I never took you to be so vanilla. Shut up, Anakin! I'm pretty sure you'd get in less trouble if you just played straight porn on a kid's channel than if they showed this. Yeah, this is not for kids. Nonsense. I had a little boy ask for my autograph recently. Bullshit. Nope. I signed it into his brain with my lightsaber. Ugh. Of course. That's it. You lost your lightsaber privileges. Hey, give it back. I need it for my work. I'm putting this in the sand bath. You can get it back anytime you're ready to touch the sand. Fuck. Now I need a new lightsaber. You can get a new D's nuts. Sorry. 
Ah, good boy, Annie. Try to get between the winds now, eh? Hey, that was a traumatic memory. Why would we show that as an ending gag? Why are you asking me? I just work here. I must give a special thank you and shout out to our insane tier Patreon supporters. Anakin Skywalker, Blunt BBM, Leon Elberina, Plus Gear, Thestral Pony, Vasu Patel, and Woodston. Your support helps make this series possible. And thank you to Danisty42 for providing his voice talent for Maul in this video. Go check him out. Links to his socials are in the description of the video.